What's good everybody? It's your boy Tito and this breaking another video. Today is Tuesday, the 12th of November 2024. I'm so happy that I'm in phase two and one account is up for 4k and I need to make another 1k for me to pass it to phase two. And hopefully I pass the challenge for phase for phase two this week by the grace of God. If I pass phase two, I'm gonna be funded or I'm gonna be trading a funded account by next week in the name of Jesus. So I don't know how I don't want to like I don't today I don't want to like waste a lot of time. I won't be vlogging too much but I'm about to go out with my sister sure to the mall and then we'll be back. When we are back we're just gonna go, go straight to the charts and see what's happening. But yesterday it was crazy man it was so 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 crazy. I ended up the day uh with a, a profit of three hundred on one account and the other one was on four K was down okay the other one was down three was down for four hundred rand but I had to pay a commission of like 200 and something initially for the trades I lost hundred and, 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 and 90 something but because of commission there was an extra 200 and something and the spread was so crazy so bad so terrible the spread on this new account was bad like literally so 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 bad but it's okay uh, uh, I'm fine with that and I've got one account that is down 1.8 yeah one account is down 1.8 we eventually going to to pass that or we're going to bring it back to to break even two so yeah that's just how the day is gonna go today i'm gonna go into the chats around half past three and until then right now we go out one day at a time one day turns into two two turns to four you know what that leads to simple tip just get in the gym biggest life hacks that people will give you are the simplest things trust me from all the people that i've done research on People that are millionaires, billionaires. I've listened to hundreds of podcasts, read dozens of books, listened to a whole bunch of videos with people that have done what I want to do. The information is there. We don't have an information issue. We have an application issue. I'm telling you guys to go to the gym every day, but are you? You know you got to go to the gym every day, but are you? Are you following your trading rules every day? You know what you're supposed to do. It's just a matter of you're not doing it. And that's why people like me are going to succeed because I'm going to be willing to do things that I don't want to. I don't want to be in the gym right now. I don't want to go upstairs and edit a video. I want to be able to go out and eat. But guess what? You know what I have to eat? Coffee. Yes, sir. I love this word up. Like, it's cool. It's not too hot, not too cold. Just in the middle. And it's nice. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. I will wait see for Sharon. Like, we're going to the mall and stuff. What was mom saying? Bring, Bring what? Bring From what? Who is you guys? I don't need you. Why do you? Let's do the buffet one. What do you think? Where is it? That is the last thing. Huh? Anytime. <laughs> Where is money coming from? <laughs> That's my season, like. Of things in. Now I know, like Christmas is here. I have to make. I have to somehow. I, I must have something. For I'm telling you, and the way right now, like you, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yes, I'm tired. We picked a shoe, and now she says it's expensive. She doesn't want it anymore. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Beautiful size 7. My battery is about to die. And I'm waiting for sure. I'll see you guys when I get home. So, yeah, I just came back from the mall. And I was a little bit late for half past three uh, setups, if there was any. But now that I'm back in the charts, I just saw this. Um, nice shorting opportunity right here i'm gonna show you right now 
and I am in some short positions with a 200 rand in profit at the moment. My battery is quite low, you can see I'm still running 200, 200 and something in profit and this is the setup that I just took and my stop is right above there. Uh, the, lo the, the loss here is like less than 400 rand if I take a loss on this trade and this is the account that is down almost 2k right and i've got this one that by the grace of god i would love to pass this this week if i hit two if i hit 1000 on this account then i would have passed this challenge to phase two it's the 50k account as you can see over there but i'm just gonna hold on uh my target is this gap here at least half of it should be filled i'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not and then I've got this one, which is my first two. Uh, I'm up 200 and something on the first two account, and still the risk is less than uh, less than 400, around 400 rand if I lose this trade. And yeah, it's quite a good trade for for me. Uh, we we have the we have the initial move of half past three, which pushed the price all the way up into this area and then i see how price broke below this and leaving a favorite gap here so in this area that's why i targeted to enter and yeah i am liking it and this is current running profits i don't know we probably are dropping into this and if we do that that would be so nice that would be so beautiful and i would appreciate that but yeah let me just hold on and see what's happening later on Hi right, guys, I think today I saw flames again. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my goodness. So I took another huge loss. Huge. When I say huge, yes, my first two I lost within the range. Like I lost 600 rand for the day right on my my phase two challenge on that phase one that i was supposed to just like make a thousand rand and then i pass it now i'm down i lost i lost a total of 1800 on this account bro but on the the actual amount i lost is 1500 but when you add commission it's 1800 rand now i am supposed to make 2k for me to pass the challenge the funny part is that my bias like the direction i anticipated is exactly what happened but after i got taken out of the trade i changed bias without knowing without thinking i changed my bias and yet if i waited a little bit longer the setup was going to be clear and I was going to be in the in the shorts. Let me just show you. My shorts were here, right? That's where my shorts were price dropped all the way down into here and then took me out. And then I don't know. I started buying here. Price went there. Took me out. Started buying price went there. Took me out. And eventually you see how price took out this high here. That's a market structure shift. That's a that's a raid. Then price dropped and went all the way up then we see this candle here that's the low price went impulsively below that and then now this was a balance range price started shooting low even here that's another entry price started shooting low so the setup that i was eventually looking for here like originally looking for still took place price did fill the gap that i wanted it to fill but i didn't i didn't trade that i didn't trade that instead i took a total of 1600 1550 loss and here it's 1.8 as you can see over there in total in one account and then in this account phase one in this phase one account i took a total 1.3 and now it's this and now I'm down to 36 7. Wow. In this account, in 
in phase two that's why i'm still okay i took a i took a loss of 600 as you can see over there still within the, the trading limit still within the range yo oh yeah that's it one i'm already out we lost total of almost <laughs> 1.2 loss for the day this account 2.1 loss for the day i shouldn't lose anything more than 2 point something here i'm almost wow i can't believe i'm coming from 4k in profit in one day bro this is not this is not good Two losses in a row beautiful shots that i was supposed to be in i'm not in them beautiful shots you see this this was what i was supposed to be i didn't take them changed my bias too quick hi mr madoch let's keep trying Paya, this was my first trade like was it how many days is it? yeah today this i think this Oh, this was my first trade and I took another one and this was my initial trade then I took these two I got stopped there again and then from there I don't know what made me change my bias to the buys you can see there's some point where I over traded actually I took three of these and then this was the last trade I took and as you can see I took a total of 1.8 loss 1.8 I'm, I'm supposed to take only 900 rand as a loss for the day and this is just one account it was actually up 4k now it's up 1.1 that means i need to now make 3000 before i can pass it i was only left with 1000 and here's another one and at this point in time i can feel some domino effects trying to come through uh, here's another account uh it's phase two challenge I was up, I was at 60,300, 60, now we are down to, we are down 1,200 for the day. I'm not supposed to lose anything more than 900, but I'm, I've lost extra, more than 900. That's like 300 extra in terms of daily loss. And I kind of feel so bad, like about myself. I remember I said that every time I take a loss, I don't just lose the money, uh, especially when I did something that's an indisciplined act, like me going above above the, the agreed amount, that's an indisciplined act. And I don't feel really good about it, uh, but I just have to, to accept that I've done it and better myself tomorrow, improve tomorrow. Uh, work better tomorrow and there's always another day to come back to your rules another day to bring yourself back it's just that in this day right now i need to to kind of like really work on myself i need to not react because right now i'm tempted to you know i'm tempted to get my money back like that's literally how i'm feeling right now feeling like i need to get my money back i need to get back into the charts and stuff like that which is uh it's a normal feeling because it's something that i've always do like wanting my money back in this first two challenge you can see uh i need to make three thousand in this account i don't even know why i had to lose so much in a single trade you know but pretty sure price is still gonna go down but the crazy part is that this I was in it i was in this trade to go down i took my entry here yes price took the high but i still had an opportunity to continue shorting but i did not i was no longer in it i changed my bias all of a sudden and i don't, I don't know what else happened and now uh this is the other account uh it's phase one i was at some point i was only 500 rand before passing it like 500 rand before i could pass this challenge and look at me look at the account now i'm back down to one point 
1.8 in profit so i still need now now i need like 3500 before i can pass it whoa hmm. i need to work on myself i am the biggest project here so and here is the other or oh, the last one is gone it's no longer here it's in the laptop yo guys yeah 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 i think it's good to the one of the things that i'm learning is to never think that uh to never conclude that i have already passed the challenge because this account I, I i already counted that up since it's only 500 that i need to make i've already passed it and now we are back down this are all amount of money and yes price is still pushing down crazily exactly the way i wanted it to push down even from yesterday i wanted price to come all the way down here and that's what price is doing right now and i'm no longer part of it yeah you guys will see the proper vlog of this uh later today or tomorrow yeah tomorrow actually but this one i'm gonna upload it right now because it's more like the the diary for what's happening in my head right now after i took that those amounts of loss yeah, yeah. see you guys